that of your country. After careful consideration of all relevant factors, admissions are granted to students to the undergraduate, postgraduate, and PhD programs in the different schools of IPM University. School of Engineering and Technology admitted BTEC students and tech students in several disciplines and MTech programs, so many initiatives, the disciplinary as well as the interdisciplinary ones. And 33 students were admitted last year in the MTech program. And the admission to the PhD programs was carried out for the first time. Nine students were are pursuing PhD in different branches of engineering uh, and uh, uh, for the first time. The conventional programs are very well established. School of Management, admissions have been made to MBA, BBA. School of Management admitted 66 students to these programs. Admission to PhD, they had two students who were selected for the PhD in management for the first time. The focus of the school will be on SMEs and entrepreneurship programs. School of Law. Admission to LLP and LLM. 20 students were admitted to the IKM University School of Law. Established in September 2010. That is LLM and BPA LLP honors five-year integrated program approved by the Bar Council of India integrating the law with management which is something we can call it innovative program. The focus of the school will be Roman Rights Program. And Shreshya Behra and all of your friends like You know, I am indeed delighted to address and interact, of course, with students, if that time permits, and faculty and staff of ITM University. Good work. My greetings to all of you. I congratulate all the graduate, graduate students for their excellent performance and the faculty members for shaping the young minds. I greet the pioneers, both present and past, who have nurtured ITM University during the last 14 years. I am sure the university will grow from strength to strength in the coming years and contribute high quality engineers, managers, and the entrepreneurs and even good lawyers who will be partners in our national development missions. French nation needs the graduating students to get transformed into innovators, society transformers, and employment generators rather than employment seekers. I am confident that ITM University is paving the way through its educational training process. Dear young friends, when I am with you today, I would like to share a few thoughts on the topic discovering the unique you. The subject for the next 10 minutes, I am going to talk, talk to you, for the young people particularly, the discovering the unique you. Discovering the unique you. Unique you. Now, dear friends, look up. Look all the sights, you know, all the sights you are seeing. What do you see? The light, is it not? Everywhere the light is there. You can see the bulb also, the electric bulbs. And then immediately our thoughts go to the inventor. Who? Who? Thomas Alva Edison. When you hear the sound of airplanes going over your house every day, just know what will happen. Whom do you think so? Edison. 
contrast, right? Right to the proof that man could fly, of course, at a heavy risk and cost. Who does the telephone remind you? Of course, the Graham Bell. You know, there was one scientist who was traveling in a ship. He was traveling from UK to India. He went to his laboratory in Calcutta. Did the research. Then the scattering of light, he found out why it happened. Who got the round prize? Sir Sri Raman got the round prize. In 20th century friends, if you see in our own country, and that is father of the nation, if we have a millennial leader, 20th century last century, for South Africa's movement against apartheid. So far, we have studied those who walked into unexplored paths, those who walked into unexplored paths and strive to be a unique and are remembered for their contribution by the humankind. Follow? Now the question is, how many, how many among you, I am asking the youth, now the question is, how many among you would you like to be the unique you? Unique you and the unique you. How many? How many? Have emanated from creative minds that have been constantly working and imagining, constantly working and imagining the outcome in the mind. With imagining and constant effort, all the forces of the universe work for the with imaging and constant effort, all the forces of the universe work for that inspired mind, thereby leading to invention discoveries in our country, in the end. The question is, the real question for the, the graduating students are young people of the world. The question is, are you willing to become a unique person? Are you, because in the whole, you are uh, always made to be ever -beers. Come to school, you are made ever -beers. Come to college, you are made ever -beers. Go anywhere, you are going to be ever -beers. Now, I have so far met 11 million youth in India and abroad, mostly in India, in a decade's time, in your eighth class. I learned what I learned. Every youth wants to be unique. That is you. But the world around you is doing its best day and night to make you just to everybody else. Follow? That is, the world around you is doing its best day and night to make you everybody else. The challenge, my young friends, is that you have to fight the hardest to battle, which any human being can ever imagine to fight. And never stop fighting until you arrive at your destined place. That is you, that is unique. I envisage the ten pillars of development profile for India's development by 2020. That means another nine years time. What is the distinct the distinctive profile of India by 20 I am going to give you ten pillars. Each pillar can make you unique if you work for it. Now a yeah, first one, a yeah, nation where the rural and the urban divide has reduced their thin life. A yeah, nation where there is equitable distribution and adequate access to energy and quality work. A nation where agriculture, industry and service sector work together in super. A nation where the education value system is not denied to any meritorious candidate because of societal or economic discrimination. These five areas are closely integrated and will be progressing in a coordinated way 
we need to pull the economic and national security. Now the gentler and development and future. The gentler just now I told you. The gentler of development and future. I have given you how you have to transform yourself to meet the professional challenges as a system technologist and contribute in realizing any one or more of the ten pillars that I have described. Friends, please look carefully at each of the ten, each of the pillars. You will find some interesting points. All of them require convergence of discipline, technology. In an engineering system and management, in an engineering system level, optimization of the system takes place with the targets of performance, cost and schedule. In the case of human body, ultimately, the decision will involve the overall well-being. In the case of a nation, the best decision happens when everyone puts the nation above himself or herself. The other important aspect is the confidence that innovation can be done and changes can be brought out for the better. The third aspect is why technologies will be developed and the human welfare will be enabled. Lasting peace and prosperity will happen only through the development of a enlightened Now, I would like to share with you a few thoughts on how engineering institutions like IDM, the engineering institution, can contribute to national development in 21st century. I am going to give you the way I have worked in my engineering institution. How long ago, when you are not given idea form, that happened in 1927. And I was studying in Madras Institute of Technology Group at the Airport in then the last, last year, third year, the Professor Srinivasan, he is a, a German man, sister man, he called nine of us. He said, I am giving you a project for six months project. This project calls for system design, system integration and system management. Often low level attack aircraft. You now we are students. Studying aerodynamics, structure, propulsion, control, guidance, electronics, all. But nine of us have been assembled to build a low level attack aircraft design. We have to make a design. So, the challenge is you have to bring together multiple technologies and manage the group. I was a group leader. You will see that in those days we did have that computer, 1950s. And we need to have a drawing board. We have to use a certain drawing board. And we have to use slides in the end of the day. So six months time, one day my professor, he was going for a tennis day on Sunday evening. Then he entered my lab and saw he was struggling. I had to make a design of a low-level attack aircraft. He saw the program and he commented, still I remember the audible comment he gave. Thank you. The system is that system integration system. That's why it's very essential university like IDM. The multi-faculties have come together and the joint project should be given to the student. So that student when they go out of IDM they become a system designer, system integrator, and system manager. On this occasion, I have one suggestion to the management of ITM University. Can you consider establishing a forum in the institute with all departments, students, administration, parents, to identify technological research to move forward towards India's development profile 2030? This may lead to a several projects with specific targets for sustainable development 
in the neighborhood of the institute. The education system in ITM University should concentrate on developing the spirit among the students. I can do it. Repeat with me. All of you repeat with me. I can do it. I can do it. We can do it. We can do it. India will do it. India will do it. So friends, when you leave this campus, the most important thing what you have to carry, young people, that confidence I can do it. Otherwise it's not real education. If you don't get the confidence. So friends, now it was really It was nearly 60 years since I came out of my engineering education. I was fortunate working two meetings of R&D institutions in our country. The process of the evolution of the Vision 2020 and my working as a professor in a societal transformation at Anna University in Chennai and working as a professor at IIM Ahmedabad during the last two years in a program called GRIP globalizing research in India with innovative transformation gave me a new dimension of engineering and management education for the country. Institutions can result in a better shaping at schools and colleges of their own benefit. Continuous education of the teachers is very essential and their exposure to some premier institutions in the country and the abroad has been viewed as a, as a long term research. Periodical interactions with the alumni and the evolution of the institution's facilities on a continued basis for improvement would go a long way in maintaining world class standards. And each institution has to become a unique institution by bringing out students who work with integrity and succeed. The faculty administrators and staff of the institution have to remain role models in this respect. Friends, I, I have a feeling that um, I, I would like to say that uh, we talked about many aspects of engineering education which will enable the students to take part in the national development. However, one important characteristic for peace and prosperity of a human being is the enlightened children. I guess in the heart, in the heart there is, there is beauty in the character. Beauty in the character. When there is, there is beauty in the character. Beauty in the character. There is, there is harmony in the home. Harmony in the home. Harmony in the home. Harmony in the home. When there is, when there is Harmony in the home, there is order in the nation. When there is order in the nation, there is peace in the world. Harmony in the home is possible. Order in the nation is possible. All that was what is the wrong quality? What is the wrong quality? Righteous in the heart. Righteous in the heart. On the other side, righteous in the heart. These two combined, these two combined, you will have a beautiful citizen in India. That citizen will work with integrity and succeed. All of you repeat with me. I will. I will. I will. I will. See you. How many of you are coming? How many of you?
I firmly believe I firmly believe that no problem that no problem can defeat me can defeat me I become I become captain of the problem captain of the problem defeat the problem defeat the problem succeed and succeed will you yes sir I will work I will work I will work for removing for removing the problems faced by faced by my planet earth my planet earth in the areas of Water, water, energy, energy habitat, habitat, waste management, waste and the environment, and environment through, 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 through the application of science, science and technology. Science <laughs> मैं यहाँ पर फोटोग्राफी लगी हूँ डिग्री अब यहाँ से धंधा नहीं है